there's a lot of money sloshing around and it's uh, it, and there everything is blurred and it's not good and there's a lot here that's real whether it's quid pro quos or not who knows but the uh, the amount of schmoozing involved and crossing lines and one person putting money in a foundation and then Clinton getting unbelievable amounts for his speeches and then uh, contracts going one way or another, it's not good. But wait a minute, wait a minute. Bill Clinton told NBC that I, I asked Hillary. I said, I said, well, is there anybody ever tried to get to, to, to you through me? And she said no. So I guess that, so that, forget it. Let's all go to sleep and forget about it. Joining us now is Matt Whitaker, founder of the Foundation for Accountability and Civic Trust. That's uh, factdc.org, former U.S. attorney uh, from the great state of Iowa. Hello, Matt. Hey, great to be here. Great to talk to you. Um, you know, this just goes on and on and on. Every day it's something else. And now we're talking about a possible new ethics violation involving the Clinton campaign and uh, billionaire uh, Tom Steyer, liberal billionaire, I should say, Tom Steyer. Yeah, two, two different issues, but both involved my group uh, this week. You know, we, we, uh, we filed a complaint with the Senate Ethics Committee because the Clinton campaign uh, went up and used taxpayer paid for conference rooms to hold what was the equivalent of a campaign update uh, with the senators at, at the U.S. Capitol. And then uh, Tom Steyer and his next-gen climate PAC, super PAC, uh, paid $177,000 for a uh, failed Senate candidate's list uh, in my home state of Iowa. And so uh, we've been busy this week at the foundation, and uh, those are the, the two things we've been working on. Uh, I mean, I, I'm, sure the, I'm sure you'll be busy uh, er, as time goes on. Um, you know, what, what, what do you make of all this? You know, we find out uh, uh, David Ignatius of the Washington Post uh, told Morning Joe the other day, and, and really nobody's picked up on this, uh, that uh, he's been told from people in the State Department that other people uh, in Hillary's inner circle used her server. And that uh, when asked who, who these people's names or what these people's names are, he said, stay tuned keep reading the washington post uh if that's the case i mean that just takes this to a whole nother level right and you know there were some early reports when the email uh situation first hit that there were more than just hillary clinton as secretary of state who was using the private email server um i would imagine that her um you know her right hand person uh huma uh, abedin yeah, Aberdeen had uh, probably used that, and I can't imagine, you know, a guy that has been of interest to my group uh, for several months, a guy named Dennis Chang, um, quite, quite possibly could have been on that server. You know, we've got a pending FOIA request uh, with the State Department regarding his emails and his interactions with the Clinton Foundation. And talk, uh, talk about who he is. Well, you know, he's an interesting figure because he was uh, a fundraiser for... Uh, Secretary Clinton's Senate campaign. He then went to the Clinton Foundation. He then went to the State Department. He then went to back to the Clinton Foundation, helped raise a quarter of a million dollars uh, in the in the very short period of time for the foundation. A quarter of a billion. I'm sorry, <laughs> get my M's and my B's confused. Look, <laughs> big numbers. And now he's uh, the the key fundraiser for her presidential campaign. Yeah, well, that there you go again. Uh, absolutely. Uh, you did you watch any of uh, Bill Clinton's? Uh, you know, interviews lately, I, he was sitting down, uh, you know, uh, on a forum, and he also was interviewed by NBC, talking about how uh, he will still be making these speeches for that kind of money because, uh, you know, he has to pay the bills. But more troubling is, is the Clinton speak, you know, the meaning of what depends on what the meaning of the word is, is when he said, I don't think I, I, I did anything in violation of uh, U.S. security interests uh, with the foundation. Um, Hillary told me that, uh, like I said, no one ever tried to get to her through me. And uh, by the way, there's no difference uh, between Hillary, uh, you know, last time she ran and now. And of course, all of her years as Secretary of State and all of the contributions to the foundation, those are huge differences. I, I, I just think he's, he's made it worse. Well, there's two key points that you raise. One is the fact that they are their own ethics uh, watchdog. I mean, they get to decide what is ethical or who's trying to gain access. But the more important point is, is why are people giving money to hear Bill Clinton speak or to the Clinton Foundation? It's for access. It's for a relationship. And I mean, it, you know, not only with a former president and a former secretary of state, but quite possibly the next president of the United States. And I mean, that should give uh, your viewers a lot of concern. 
Yeah, no, absolutely. Well, listen, keep up the good work. And folks, you could go to uh, uh, factdc.org uh, and uh, find out more about the Foundation for Accountability and Civic Trust. Matt, as always, thank you very much, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, uh, thank you. Yeah, folks, I mean, uh, you know, you have so many people, so many people on the left that are saying that this just isn't good. I mean, there, were, there was a whole, you had Chuck Todd and Mika and Joe Scarborough and all of them were you know, chiming in about how, you know, hey, she should tell Bill to go away and shut up. He just, he just made it worse. Now, she doesn't talk. So maybe that's why she can't really tell him to go away. Give me five is next. Don't go away.